hindi po ba dapat lahat ng construction eh, dapat humingi ng approval ng Protected Area Management Board? At kung nakalusot naman ito, uh, yung building ng resort, ibig po bang sabihin ay may approval of, uh, the, of the DENR agency as well? Yes. Uh, actually, um, this was the subject of uh, investigation last September. Uh, I, I think way back pa pala in August. And then uh, we completed our investigation and already have recommendation in September 2023. So the Sangguni Ang Talalawigan, province of Bukol, already recommended to the DNR to stop no, any construction or any development uh, within the area and also to revise or add their policy or their guidelines allowing any development doon sa chocolate field to determine. So as of now, uh, I'd like to give a uh, written or official comment answer from the DNR. Uh, Ma'am, uh, attorney, ang sinasabi kasi, no, uh, meron daw titulo uh, pagmamayari daw po yeah. nung, nung resort owner. Eh, paano nga po ba yung, yung ganyan? Uh, what is the gray area? Because paano kung uh, that hmm. private individual has a title to the land before it is declared as a protected area, katulad na nga lang po, dyan sa Bohol and the Chocolate Hills? Yes, uh, just to provide you with a proper context and perspective, no, uh, even before the area was declared as a protected area uh, through a declaration, uh, ito siyang area na to, they are already also proclaimed as uh, alienable and disposable. So prior pa yan sa pagiging protected area. So that would mean that meron po itong mga private owners. Mm -hmm. However, because it was declared as a protected area, any development, utilization, any construction, or anything that you'd like to do within that area it has to pass through the Protected Area Management Board and ultimately to the DENR for approval. Now, what happened to this case is that itong uh, owner ng resort, ng property, uh, they secure the approval and the endorsement of the PAMB, or the Protected Area Management Board, mm -hmm. through two resolutions. And this resolution, together with the approval, sets forth the condition. Based on our investigation, DENR uh, manifested that the resource complied with the uh, condition set forth. And one of the conditions set forth in that resolution is the 20 percent allowable from the baseline of the hill. So that is why kami sa Sangguni Ang Panalawigan at the Provincial Government of Bohol strongly recommend no, that the same policy be amended and revised na wala na talagang development or construction doon sa area na yun because it is a protected area. Mm -hmm. So the limitation has to be strict na hindi siya pwede na even if it's a private property, the DNR has to strict it for the law no, na protected exactly uh, and without uh, impeding also the rights of the property owners. Opo. Attorney Jami, kunyari lang ano, playing devil's advocate. Hmm. Alam ba kunyari, inanja eh, na po yan eh. Tapos wala namang nasirang hill at libo-libo naman daw supposedly yung, yung chocolate hills na nandyan, In, wala ko bang paraan kunyari na mag-compromise na lang at uh, ituring na lang ito na uh, isa sa mga pwedeng attractions, kalimbawa. Kasi kung maging stricto, dapat yung pagtayo ng observation tower at yung stairs doon, pwede rin, o bakit yun, nakapagtayo ng tower na ano ro, ng observation deck at stairs pa akyat po. Ito, uh, nasa isang lugar, nasa isang area, na wala namang naapekto ang hill. Ano pong masasabi niyo ron, attorney? Ah, uh, yes. Actually, that matter has to be addressed, no, or to be answered by the DEFR. Pero, the stand of the provincial government on that is that um, for future development, no, from September nung last year, nag-request kami na any application for any development or construction within, within 
cash held in a bayan. Kasi our stand is that we have to perturb the chocolate yield natural monument. Okay. So as much as possible, any policy that they have to make, kailangan talaga na hindi talaga siya doon sa, within talaga doon sa area. Kailangan talaga ang PAMPI and DNR, while respecting the private rights, the, the rights of the private owners, dapat din the protected area that we are a geo park, a uh, UNESCO global geo park na kailangan talaga ma-preserve na and ma-uphold siya. Mm -hmm. Attorney, uh, ano pong plano? What is the next move? Kasi, yung local government, parang hindi pinapansin eh, nung resort owner. So, do we need the national government to investigate, intervene, uh, moving forward? Okay. So, the thing is, uh, this morning, we called the regional director of PNR uh, because we are still waiting for the written no, official comments of uh, DNR talaga. So, we just took the initiative to call the director and we were personally upright, no? Albeit we still don't have the official uh, statement or comment talaga. But um, yung resort owner has yet to comply with the ECC pala. Mm -hmm. So, ang suggestion namin, we advise them because that is beyond the power of the Sangguniang Panlalawiga, no? And also the provincial government of all. It is really the DNR that should act on this together with the LGU na they should coordinate with each other. If uh, if meron talaga violation on environmental laws, then there should be a possible order for this peace and speed. So, um, we hopefully, we can get um, comments from them, the official in writing, uh, within the week. And we are, we are also considering na i-elevate namin ko to the National uh, Secretary of the DNR for guidance and proper action. Mm -hmm. Okay. May binabanggit po kayo, Attorney uh, Jami, no? Na parang yes. ang sunggunian ay uh, asking for yung mga revisions, no? O parang adjustments doon yes. sa batas. May mga magsasabi raw po na pwede ba na isama rin dyan yung aspects ng aesthetic, halimbawa? A possible aesthetic violation daw. Kasi maaaring mag-comply kunyari sa mga technical, sa construction, etc. Pero kung ito naman daw ay aesthetic, no? ibig sabihin, ang ginagawa ng example sa Luneta, mm. sa Rizal Park, mm -hmm. ay kahit pasok sa mga sinasabi, pero uh, masakit sa mata, yun buho ba ay pasok yes. pa rin sa inyong uh, hinahanap? Yes. Um, actually, um, on the part of the Sangguni Ang Panitok, at our duty and our responsibility to legislate. We are currently developing an ordinance, no? Um, it's a comprehensive ordinance preserving and regulating no, our uh, geopark uh, So, kasama po doon, no? Um, environmental aspect, the aesthetic aspect, and of course, um, security, safety of the locals and also the tourists. So, kasama po siya doon. Mm -hmm. And in our recommendation to the DNR, we are focused more on the existing uh, law that should be enforced. 